hello everybody in this video I'm going to show how you can import and export data from different source to another destination so by using the SQL server I'll show you how you can get the data from the different database and bring it to or take it to the different source so I'm going to use HR database here you can see all these tables over here how you can get this data from the table and take it to the excel here is the one of the table employee table i'm take take the whole tables and and then export to the excel so here is our excel i'm going to bring this data in this excel okay so i'm just going to close it it is already saved on the desktop as a empty excel file so what you have to do over here just right click the database go to the task and go to the export data this is import export wizard so we are going to go to the next and here is our data source our data source is SQL server so we have to use all the way at the bottom SQL server native client and then our database we are using HR database is already picked up you can see there are so many database but we already picked up HR database so go to the next so what our destination our destination would be the Excel Excel file okay so we have to give the file path go to the browse and give the file path over here uh, employee table okay so this is the one so we give the path and now you go to the next next and the which table you wanted to export so we're going to use employee table use employee table okay so go to the next here is showing some warning but it's going to be okay so just go to the next and go to the finish and finish so here you can see all the data was moved from our SQL server to the Excel okay you can close it and open the file this is the one here you can see our employee table data here is all the data came from the employee table so you can just highlight all the data right like this and then click one of those place double click so it give you the nice and then you can also create a tables from here insert tables and say okay so it will create nice table from here okay so you can bring all the data from one source to another destination also you can bring the data from excel or any other source to sql server as well okay so in that case we have to import the data in a sql server okay so you can right click here and then again you go to the task this time we're going to import data okay so import data wizard is going to open and then go to the next this time this time our sources would be now we are bringing from excel to the sql server okay so our source would be excel this time and then we have to give the file path okay so we go to our desktop and we are going to use one of the wall population data okay so wall population i selected here so say open give the path and go similarly you can just go to the next so now our destination our destination is sql server so it would be the last one sql server native client why do you want it to bring the data world population so here is the world population go to the next go to the next so go to the next next and then finish it all right this time you can see 232 row transfer from excel to the wall population database so you can close this open it over here and go to the table just refresh this first and then you open the table you'll be able to see the data right here the wall population so go select top thousand you'll be able to see all the wall population data right here we just bring a data from the excel to the our database in sql server all right so there are number of a way you can also bring the data there are etl process this time i'm just showing how you can do it by using the import export wizard
okay so let's go to the another tool this this is the power bi tool okay this is our power bi tool here you can also get very easily bring data from the different source to over here you can see get data if you click the get data you can see there are so many source you can use to bring the data in power bi you can say excel power bi database database sql server text cbs even web data you can bring it over here if you click the more there will be many other different type of server or system you can bring data from here so very easily you can bring data you just have to give the file path for excel or if it is server you have to give the server name okay but here i'm just going to show you one even you can bring the data from the web so if you just click the web here you have to just give the url path okay so if i just wanted to so let me show you if i bring one data over here see if it's a wall population review if you click on here so this is the path we can use to bring the data from web online to our power bi see here is that all the table there are number of tables over here if i take this url copy it and just paste it at the, over here so it's okay now it is connecting with this url all right so here is the navigator open and it's still working on it okay so finally you can see it connected with all this table with that url so if you click there are number of tables was there so if you click one of those table you will see those data so the table you needed that's the one you're going to click so the one you needed that's the one you're going to click or you can click uh, the number of table and then you can load or transform your uh, data and bring it to the power bi so these are the number of way you can bring it data also i just said before by using the sql server and power bi so next i also going to show you how you can do the import export data by using the python and as well as excel okay so these are the other tools i'm going to show you on our next video so thank you